Good morning. So I was going to start looking at um, implementing the auto expanding on Snippy Pixie. Um, but I suddenly realized I haven't actually implemented any kind of actual expanding yet. So I've just roughed out um, a little uh, task to do a subcommand on the CLI to expand. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to have a subcommand called expand, um, which takes an abbreviation for snippet or the long form or short form. I like that. Um, and it just returns the body of the snippet that you hopefully have entered correctly um, uh, in its expanded state. And by expanded, I mean, so you might normally enter, you might enter, um, well, let's, let's look at examples. It's probably easier. So this is the existing snippet pixie. So here we've got a simple abbreviation and it expands to some text. That's what normally happens. It's just the body there. But we do have some templates, uh, sorry, placeholders. So I could actually do this. So anything which has a double dollar sign and then the name of some sort of template placeholder. I'll have to get that right one day. Um, and then closed off with a dollar dollar will expand. So if I, um, Let's see if I got anything that I'd I don't often use it in GUI stuff. So uh, let's see if we've got any kind of text, simple text editor. There we have text editor. Okay. So in here, if I do in theory, we'll see if this works. I'm not sure if I do DT. Nope. Didn't like that at all. Blew up. I haven't tried it out in here. Um, this is part of the reason why we're doing the rewrite. There's a few issues with the current version. Um, yeah, but if I did do, if I pick DT, it goes in like that. And then I've got other things like, um, what else have I got? Let's see, actually, if I just do a search for DT, I've got some others there. Uh, like number three, DT Calc has got a whole bunch of stuff in it for testing. Um, so that was like a, a basic, if I get out the step in Pixie, you can see. So we've got these ones like date, time, um, that's a test of just doing date with our format, so it does the same. Um, and then we've got things like add in a year, so you know, 3rd of February 2023 with the time, um, and stuff like that. And then you can add a week and a day and an hour and all that stuff. Um, all these things here expand out. Um, and there's also ones, so if I search for, what else have we got? Um, in theory, there's cursor stuff as well. So if you are actually doing this in auto expanding in a GUI app, you can get the cursor to be placed somewhere um, by default as well. Um, doesn't, it's not really going to work on the CLI because you can't really manipulate the cursor. Um, you can also actually look at snippets. So snippets here, you can embed another snippet. So I can embed snippet two, um, which embeds snippet three, which embeds snippet four, and in theory, snippet five. 
but there's a limit. I so I've limited it to um, three deep, I think. So if I get rid of that, and if I do uh, nine there, it only goes so far before it keeps embedding. Level two, level three, and then it's done, and then it won't expand number four, and so on. Just so you don't go too far down the rabbit hole. Um, what else have we got? So we've got day, oh, I've got clipboard, of course. So if I have, let's see if I copy that, level zero there. Um, and if I search for, let's see, I must have a clip here. So in here, if I do clip, I get level zero. Simple stuff. Um, bit of a useless one just to do that there. But if you had it embedded within the whole template of stuff, um, you know, you've copied something and then you go bang. It's quite useful for that. Yeah, so that's it. So we've got cursor, clipboard, date and time. Um, that's all we really need at the moment. Um, so they're useful. Um, but we haven't done any of that in the ghost stuff yet. So we probably should do it. Um, now the issue is that's quite a bit of work. Um, but I've done it all before. So I could probably reuse the previous work as a kind of template for doing that. I don't know how many times I could say template in this session. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, first of all, let's get our current project up. And I think I'll just close off all these still things. So we've got clean. Uh, I did a little change on my laptop last night. So I just need to fetch that. That was just a improvement to the um, tests. Just to the uh, tests up a little bit more so yeah so I think it wasn't much yeah improve the coverage of the CLI tests um I was just adding in a couple more failure tests basically because uh, we weren't covering them all so when we have like blank abbreviations and bodies coming in and stuff like that um, those failure conditions weren't getting tested at all so that's what I've already done. I think that's yeah, that's it. So I guess we should probably quickly run them. Um, do, 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 do. Let's do. Let's close all these down. And actually, we'll just do. Okay. Pass. Just doing them individually because I haven't done them like that before, and I just want to see if there's any weirdness in doing it like that. I'm sure there's a shortcut. No, they're all good. That's all the tests. Um, so yeah, 
and I guess I could have just done like that. <laughs> yeah. So they all passed. Go test, test, test. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. Good. Right. Okay. Um. Right, and we also need the old source. I don't think have I have used C line in here. Yeah, I have. So I think it's all stuffed in application voila. Um, and I am looking for expand. Okay, so this is when we do the window thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because we just do a paste. So that's fine. That's, I mean, effectively, that's what we're going to end up doing here is just doing. Expanding the snippet. Collapse escaped placeholder delimiter. I know what that is. We'll come to that in a minute, I'm sure. Okay, those little checks that we have. I should have just gone for expand snippet. Yes, yeah, so we do that there as well. So we're going to have to look at that. Okay, because I can't remember what that was about. Right, here we go. Uh, so this is kind of just like a looper. Um, in this variation, we're taking the body of the expanded snippet. Um, okay, so I guess we could be doing that. Could probably do something like that. And yeah. So this is Vala code and you can you can say okay, you can say this thing's passed by reference. So in this case the carrot offset, so when you're doing the expand and you want to use the cursor thing. Or if you just want to say, okay, the cursor is going to end up here at the end. Um, so that when you expand it, the cursor goes to the end of the text by default. Um, I need to set it, so I'm guessing at some point. Yeah, so we've got the length there. So that's the cursor. Yeah, there's any point where we do it. Mm, okay. So we're just going through and checking for placeholders. If we have any, we try and expand them. Based on the delimiter.
Turn that bit. Hmm. I can already see kind of a bug in here. I think if you had... If you have a lumber text which has actually got placeholders in it, uh, in your in your clipboard, it won't go down and expand that. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, we'll keep it as is for the moment because that's how it's working. So yeah, so that's fine, and then it comes down. So if we look at an easier one, so if we look at the day one. Because the expanse snippet is a little bit involved here. Yeah. But the date. Actually, it's not as simple as I thought. It does have to do a few checks. Okay. There's quite a bit actually going on in here. I'm not going to finish that today, as soon as it's. Quite late, I started a bit late. Yeah. This is going to take some testing as well. And before we do that, where is um collapse escaped? What is that? Why did I do that? And what is it? Okay, I should put documentation on this. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so all that's doing is going through and finding any instances of the escaped delimiter. So, in the, it says, where does it say? It should be somewhere in here. Oh, yeah. So, if you want to use dollar dollar in your um, in your snippet. Uh, without like, without it being like interpreted as a placeholder, you need to escape the second dollar with a slash. Um, and so that's all that's going on there. It's just going through um, and doing a final little pass to like clean them up and take out the slashes by replacing the dollar slash dollar with a dollar dollar after all the expansions happened. So that's fine. That's not... 
that's not a problem. Um, and oops, actually, it'd be up here. So we've got, yeah, I've got a dollar dollar and then the macro. So it's like making sure you know for sure where the name starts. And then we have that, which. Hmm, yeah, because in the database it looks like that. Okay, I need to remember that. Okay, let's, what we're going to do then, because I haven't really got much time. I guess we could... dump some code and then start making it go code. Just reference it. Not sure. I guess we could. I do own it all. Just thinking about license in there. Um, but I wrote it all. So where are we going to do this? Would it make sense to hang off the snippet package? So you could say expand the snippet. The manager will need to call it for sure. I don't think the CLI needs to call it because this could all be done in the dbus. Well, the daemon's definitely going to need to do it if, once we get it all to expand and working. So it kind of does need to sit. Certainly in the daemon going to need to do it. But if it, hang, if it kind of like hangs off a snippet, Yeah. 
then you can we can use whatever we like to um, just say okay go expand this snippet yeah I think that would probably work okay so we're gonna be doing it in here I think or Or am I? Or I have to. Ugh. Well, that's not true. I can split it up a bit. So if I want to pass in, if I want to do this kind of syntax of like, just call in, um, expand on it, it has to at least start in this file, I think. might not be true that's not true I can do certainly in the same package let's start it off in a new file and we'll see how we go we can always move things around um <laughs> Place on this. It's not going to like this. So, this is all Vala code that I've just dumped in it. Um, so, but I just want to use it as reference while I'm doing this. But I want to go back and uh, Look at it, so... Oh, that's a bit problematic. I do have lots of comments in there like that, so... Maybe it wasn't a good idea sticking it in here. Maybe I should just reference it in the open ID and just look at it. Okay. We'll start with Will it expand? 
at the moment will take nothing and we will return Money is a string. Cursor is an int. And maybe an error. Okay, we're going to in here. What were we doing when we were doing an expand? Yeah, I might call it carrot offset, just so that we've got two different things. Um, might be a bit easier. The cursor offset actually makes it's just a little bit easier to understand. Okay, yeah, now, because I'm doing recursion, um, I have to pass in the date time that we've set, that we have, so that it's consistent through all the levels as it's been expanded. Um, and then obviously we need a level as well so that we can bow out. So I do need to pass those in. But level doesn't need to come back. And neither does daytime. A cow offset does. Well, cursor offset. So, Now that's a good point. Is it an offset or is it a position within the entire dock? I think off we go.
It's an offset, at least in that mode. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so we're reporting back. where the cursor should end up in relation to where it started off because things can change while it's moving so the way the auto expansion works just type in along, you type in sp backtick. We recognize the backtick as a trigger point. And we go, oh, is that an abbreviation? And we go back and look. Oh, yeah, that p backtick is part of the three abbreviations. Go back another one. Oh, sp backtick is a abbreviation. There's no others. And that's done by doing a selection because it's you can't really get it any other way um and we know where the selection starts and by the time we've done the expansion the abbreviation could be here so it's like selection start plus this offset which is the length of the abbreviation or some other one if we've got the cursor in it is where the cursor ends up so yeah it's just an offset um yeah so we need to pass that in okay, return it as that I don't think. I don't think I'll get any benefit from passing the snippet. Because 
I do need to curse through and adjust the body that's coming in and out. Unless I just have, no, I could just have a little private function for doing the recursion actually. That would be a good idea. That'd be easier to test. Yeah, we're already going to change things up, I think. So um, we're going to expand this snippet. We already know it's body to pass and start through. Um, and we're going to return back the useful thing. Potentially a cursor offset into it. Um, uh, worst case scenario is the end of the body. Um, and that's it, isn't it? Because otherwise, We'll be determining everything. I mean, we could potentially pass in the daytime. But. I don't think we need to at this top level, so. Um. Yeah, so then we're going to do, okay, so let's do some housekeeping here. Expand this snippets body. Expand the snippet. With its orders and turn. So, set. Okay. Uh, go say no. Um, so this is where we're going to do the actual thing. So we'll do private expand And snippet, expand body. Yeah, and that's going to take body as a string. Um, doesn't need. Doesn't need a curse offset. 
yet. But it does need a date. does need a level. And it needs to return the body. potentially in an error. Oh no, cursor offset. Think. Do I need to pass in the current? I don't do. I think because the last one wins. I need to keep progressing it forward. I think. Yeah, this is going to get a little tricky. I can always take it out if I don't need it.
Yeah, I'm thinking about that wrong. So. I do think maybe what we're really doing here is the same as the expand snippet placeholder. Okay, right, well, I've got to go, but so let's just make that. As a little reminder. And then we'll come back to it next time. Okay. Uh, right, got to go. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.